Hey, this is Jeff, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to embed an external site in Articulate Rise. Now, this is a feature I hadn't figured out yet myself because we're kind of uh, abusing the embed a video block. Uh, and uh, last week, I got an email from Simone, and she set something up in Rise, and uh, she actually used this way to embed a interaction that she built on another site. And it was pretty cool because um, it's a new way of using uh, the embed uh, block uh, that I hadn't figured out yet. So I wanted to share with you and obviously give props to Simone. Uh, so thank you, Simone. Um, as you can see here, I embedded a completion form. So a lot of people often struggle with, hey, I want to have a completion uh, tracking, but I don't have an LMS or I don't, I want to do something different with that. Uh, so I created a quick Google form and there are probably cooler, nicer way, so maybe you could use type form or whatever, but this is just something that I quickly put together. So went to the Google Forms, created my form, and just got the got the shareable link. The thing is with the video block is that a video was always set in, uh, in, in height and width, right? Um, but we don't have that for websites. So although this looks really nice on desktop format, if I go into tablet mode, you'll already see that this block has a fixed height and thus it will create a uh, scroll bar here and because the site I am embedding doesn't know it's in a responsive container. So it will remain uh, the way it is and it, it will not resize accordingly. So it gets even worse obviously when you go to your phone because then you see really small part of the uh, embedded site uh, and that doesn't work ideally. So if you are trying to use this as an embed uh, way, then test it before you uh, send it out. Uh, most things work really well on desktop. So if that's, if you don't have any tablet or phone requirements, then that should work perfectly for you. So let's take a look at how we set this up. I go to edit mode and I'll just kick out this block here and add a new one. So first I'm going to all blocks, multimedia, and this is where you'll find the embed block. And by default, it has a Vimeo video, right? I click the edit on the left-hand side, go to change and add my Google form in here and click enter. And then it will pull in the site that I've got here. And now that I've got show metadata on here, it will actually tell me that, hey, this is placed on Google Docs. So this is something you might want to keep on deliberately so people know, hey, I can click here and uh, and go there. Um, turn off show metadata and then you will actually just get the site. And as you can see, it's not the same size that I just had, but if I go into settings, I can actually choose the embed width. So I can go for small, medium or full width and in this case my form fits the full width uh, when i'm in desktop mode and that's it that's how easy it is to set up your uh, 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 rise course to embed a piece of external content again always be mindful of of the size of your site and how, how that works but this is a very easy uh, way to bring in additional functionality that you might not have in rise per se uh, and uh, build a more interesting course. So that's it for today. Hope you got inspired. Again, Simone, thanks for the tip, and uh, see you around.